Staying on the theme of biometrics, we're going to do a flashback to this clip from Alex Jones' 1997 documentary, America Destroyed by Design, which is I remember was one of the first Alex Jones films that I ever saw. And of course, the classic video of Alex getting arrested for refusing to thumb scam at the DMV. So we're going to go to that clip now. Well, you've seen what's going on around the country and here in Austin, Texas, where this was produced. Now you're going to see me, Alex Jones, and about 100 other people go down to the Texas Department of Public Safety and protest thumb scanning finger imaging for driver's license. Yes, everyone must get it. And according to the Federal Register, President Clinton would like to start random urine, blood, or other tissue sample testing at the driver's license facilities around the nation. Well, don't hear it from me. Hear it from newscast and our cameras that were there on the scene the fateful day that 100 Americans stood up to Big Brother. Well, getting a driver's license caused quite a stink here in Austin today. You know, in Texas, if you want one of these, well, you have to give your thumbprints. The KISJ Carter shows you why some folks today said they don't want anybody scanning their body parts. I'm going to go up, and if they come up and touch me in any way, I'm going to lay down peaceably and let the police state minions drag me away. Alex okay? Jones wants to renew his driver's license. God, he also expects here. to be arrested. I'm going in there with my passport, my birth certificate, my driver's license, my W-2 form. But he won't give a thumbprint. Moments after this interview, today. troopers I I did arrest him. Yeah, right. Do not leave now. I will be forced uh, to arrest Sir, I'm here to get a driver's license. I have never had a criminal okay. record. In Let's go. Time to go. Jones says fingerprinting gives government too much control. And the next thing you know, they'll ask for urine and blood samples. Right. Rebecca Yoakum walked through the crowd of protesters to renew her license. She did didn't mind giving her thumbprint. I really don't see anything wrong with the thumbprinting, and it's kind of weird how everybody's protesting about it. But the protesters believe if they don't speak up now, the requirements to drive could get even more personal. With your eye on Austin, I'm Jay Carter. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail, and he'll face a disorderly conduct charge. The DPS points out, by the way, that its database of thumbprints helped identify some of the victims of the tornado in Gerald last year, and they say this system helps and protects all of us. I'm sorry, sir, you're just flat wrong. This has nothing to do with public safety and everything to do with the international tracking grid that's being set up. All you have to do is watch Lockheed Martin Marietta commercials from the defense industry to Visa commercials. All down the line, they're pushing thumb scanning to buy and sell, and probably within five to ten years, everybody's going to have to do this to buy and sell, and this is all for the IRS to gather intelligence on us. The DPS even admits that it goes to the federal government. It's all hooked into a national database, and you see the free market supposedly engaged in this. It's all part of a grid of control, and some of you will say, well, what do we have to hide? It's called an invasion of privacy, ladies and gentlemen. It's called innocent until proven guilty. It's called a government that has a terrible track record of abusing its citizens and the IRS stealing from innocent people that have broken no laws being abused. I'm just so tired of this. Everything under the color of law. This is totally unconstitutional. Now let's get to the actual video of the actual protest. Blood testing, urine testing, things of that nature. So for those of us that are not in the know and for those of us who really are not in this as you are, could, could you kind of explain what's going on here? Sir, I have given you the executive order put in the Federal Register by Bill Clinton in 1997. He has announced it. He says that urine and blood testing that they plan to do nationwide is only for people 18 and under. It is for 25% of large state populations randomly selected and they're thumb scanning us like criminals. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? I heard that. Several forms of identification. I have eight forms of identification from my passport to my old driver's license to my W-2 form, my tax form, to my social security number, to my car insurance, and I also have another picture ID. And that had better be enough for them, ladies and gentlemen. This is really getting out of control. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? Why are Americans laying around like sheep and allowing themselves to be treated like criminals? We're law-abiding citizens. At what point do you expect, uh, or do you expect at all, uh, for the what you were talking about, the blood testing, the drug screening, 
If it, is that really coming? Sir, I have given you the federal documents that are mandating the states to do that. Clinton in 92 mandated the thumb scanning. It has been adopted by many of the states, Texas, since 93. He mandated it in late 1997 for 98 to be implemented. Now, that's up to the states, and that's why we're drawing attention to this. Thumb scanning and no further. I'm against thumb scanning, but now they want... This urine and blood testing, this is the slippery slope. And to those out there that say, what do I have to hide? I am innocent until proven guilty. I have no criminal record. Alex Jones has no criminal record, and we should not be treated like criminals. I don't want to ask what you have to hide, but what is it that, that makes you so passionate about this? Our government cannot be trusted. Even liberty. this month's, even yes, liberty, even this month's Popular Mechanics talks about the government testing chemicals and biologicals on our people in the 1950s and 60s. The IRS, you've heard the hearings. There's, there's CIA drug trafficking hearings going on right now in the Congress. This is on television. This government is controlled by a bunch of thugs, in my opinion, and I think a lot of bureaucrats are dupes to it. I just don't trust our government. And our founding fathers warned us not to hate our government, but to fear our government. I should not have to thumb scan and be in a computer. They also digitally capture your signature and your photograph. They could create any false identity they wanted to with your name and your social security number. And many government bureaucrats from the IRS to the EPA have been caught selling information. There are thousands of cases and convictions of this if people would just investigate it. This is an invasion of privacy. That's the most important thing. It's an invasion of privacy. There is no innocent until proven guilty in this country anymore. And Americans across the country have got to start standing up against Big Brother. And if they come up and touch me in any way, I'm going to lay down peaceably and let the police state minions drag me away. Okay? Let's get ready to go in here in about five minutes. God bless y'all for being here. People stand up. The New World Order, which is transnational, socialism for the rich, can only fail. We're going to defeat these people. We're going to turn their lives upside down. On This federal intrusion is out of control, and it is controlled by the transnational establishment. So it's time for everybody across America to start standing up, because we got people power. Amen. Peaceful patriots or the huge military-industrial complex that Eisenhower warned us about. I think I'm afraid of the military-industrial complex that owns our media. I think I'm afraid of the foreign banks. That's who I'm afraid of, not of you people. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jim. How you doing, Ellinger? All right, so I'm ready for you. All right, they're ready for me. Let's go. Come, on, come over and get the pretty little red light. Come on. Isn't that pretty? And they'll put a nice little clinic in here in the next few years for urine and blood testing like Clinton wants. What do I have to hide? I'm a criminal. There we have it. Nice little pretty red light. Get that, Mike. There we have it. Your photograph, they capture your signature, they capture your thumbprint, and now Clinton wants urine and blood, and I've given that to the media, the actual federal register that he wants the states to implement. And I guess it tells them how to put clinics in, and it tells them how to urine and blood test law-abiding citizens, not under 18, like the media says. Hi. How you doing? I am here with eight forms of identification. I have my passport, here's that, my name, and the form you asked me to fill out. I have no criminal record. My name is Alexander Emmerich Jones. Here is my passport. Here is my insurance. Here is another form of ID. Here is my old driver's license. Here is my birth certificate. And here is my W-2 form. And uh, here is two more insurance cards, old ones, just so you can double check. It sends a health club you card. You have plenty of ID. Okay. Good to go. We're going to get you to do right now. I need for you to answer these first three questions. Take a look at these questions there and go over them things. So I don't have to thumb scan. Well, we're going to get to that. You are eventually going to have to. Yes, sir. But not now. Not at this point, but you will before we're done with the process. Why? Because it's required. It's required by Bill Clinton in 1992, and it was instituted here in Texas in 1993. I know the code, sir. Are you going to institute his urine and blood testing when he commands you? Are you going to stick a needle in my arm when I have no criminal record? The only, answers I'm, only questions I'm going to answer right now are concerning driver's license issuance. You just follow orders, don't you? So you're saying you're going to deny me the constitutional right to travel if I do not submit to this digital thumb scanning? What I will tell you, today you will not receive a duplicate driver's license if you do not submit to a thumb scanning. Okay, look, I feel like I'm being raped here. Well, I would sit down with you for hours and try to do what I could to help you. Then just give me my license without 
digitally thumb scanning. I am not going to violate DPS policy. Is there a religious exception? For your exception. Is there a religious exception? No. No, sir, there's not. Everyone must take the mark. A digitally enhanced mark. I'm not talking about mark. A digital tattoo. I know. Your, your ID, you are good to go. But yeah, well, if I'm good to go, why do you need my thumbprint? Because it's part of the procedure of it's part of Bill. It's part of Bill Clinton's law, isn't it? It's, it's an executive order. It's a decree by Bill Clinton. NCIC. NCIC. Yeah, and if I drive without a license, what's, what's the penalties for driving without a license? You know, I don't even want to go there. That's right. You know why? I'm asking you. It doesn't pertain to it. You're an officer. I'm asking you the law. I would be glad to sit down So you're saying I'll be committing a crime by driving if I don't take your mark. I would be glad to do anything I can yeah. help you, sir. Well, see, you're saying... I'm not against you. And I understand Officer Ard, you're, you're sitting here, Sergeant, and telling me that you're all friendly and you're all nice. But I'll be pulled over and given tickets. If I don't pay those, I will go to jail because I... Because of my morals and, and my beliefs, I will not take this. And I'm here to tell you, I already took this in 93, and many people will say, well, well you've already taken it. What's your problem with it? Because now i figured out what this is, and I'm opposing all those others that are being herded in here like cattle to be thumb-scanned like criminals. Mr. Jones? Yes. We don't even need to start there. If I know that you're not going to submit to a thumbprint, why waste your time? See, right up front. They will drop, and people are being turned away all day here. So you're saying I pay my taxes, I'm raped by the IRS, which is well, criminal. You know, it's, it's well known. And you heard the key word, submit. 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 He just said I must submit. Lady down the counter I'm telling you, I've never been to jail. I don't know. What do you want me to do for you? I, I want you to give me my driver's license. I want my driver's license. I am not a criminal. I may become one today, but that's fine. You're saying, you're saying you won't take me to jail at five if I'm still here. No, we're not going to take you to jail. Oh, yeah. This is against the grain of the Constitution. Look, if I don't take the mark, my right to travel is taken. You're taking my rights and telling me that it's no big deal? And now you want a urine and blood test. Bring me the, the, uh, the, the uh, document. Who has the urine and blood testing document? I need it. I'm going to pass these out to people. Ladies and gentlemen, the Federal Register, Bill Clinton, urine and blood testing plan for you. Tell your friends about it. We have got to stand against this. The states are preparing to implement this plan. This is not a joke. This is not the entire document. It gets worse. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's a joke to them. Only Coach Penders matters. Only diversions like Rome, the gladiators. If I don't take this, if I don't take this, will I not be penalized for not having a driver's license, by not being able to cash a check, by being given tickets that if I don't pay those tickets, I'll be taken to jail. I can't travel out of state. I can't get on board an airplane. And the media is talking about thumb scanning to travel. You're working with the foreign banks and the military industrial complex. This is all their idea. Read the military war college from 1968. They planned this. And just because you lay around doesn't mean it's not true. This is not a publicity stunt. I was a lot happier years ago before I got into all this garbage. I'm sick of sheep laying down. I wish you'd get up and do something. Makes me want to vomit. Our forefathers went to World War II and World War I and fought in the Civil War to end slavery, and it means nothing to y'all. We're a bunch of yellow belly weaklings. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people laying down like a bunch of jellyfish and rationalizing what's going on. People ought to be ashamed of themselves. My brother's a cop. gold star and armor be quiet. Yes. Exactly. Now look very carefully at Mike Cox. He is head public information officer for all of Texas for the DPS. They weren't going to arrest me, but about 15 minutes into the protest, he showed up and things changed dramatically. He walked up, stared at me, turned, walked back to the back. They had a little meeting together, and then they came and arrested me. If yeah, you right. leave now, I will be forced oh, to arrest you. Sir, I'm here to get a driver's license. I have never had a criminal okay. record. It, it's go. time to go. Here I go. Get my stuff for me.
show tonight. Hey! Yeah, they're pushing her. They're pushing it. She's getting ridiculous here. All my tax dollars pay for this bill. He's got a couple of bags. The DPS was very professional, but they did the classic bait and switch. They got all the troopers on one side of the building and made us think that I was coming out there. I hope we've painted you a picture of what's really happening here in the nation. I got out of jail that night with a Class C misdemeanor, and I'm taking it to court, and I'm sure I'll defeat it with a jury trial. It was a small price to pay, though, to bring light upon the biometric technologies. Well, you've seen it all during this two-hour documentary. You've seen the UN taking over our parks and the documents, the Chinese moving into some of our military bases, Oklahoma City, documentation of huge concentration camp facilities that have been sprouting up around the country since the early 80s and even before. This is America under siege. I'm not about to tell you what you can do to stop it. You've got to think for yourselves out there. You've got to get motivated and stop reacting and start acting. I'm Alex Jones. Thank you for watching. Now get out there and get motivated. America is under siege. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.